want to talk about uh, the authority of a believer. And uh, for you to be able to, and for me, to understand the authority of the believer, or for you and for me, we want to go back to the garden. Where are we going back? Where are we going? We are going back to the garden. Because if you don't start from Eden, you and me will not get the concept of even why Christ came. Somebody say hallelujah. Because many people, and this is what the enemy has allowed people to think, that just what Christ did was just to come and take us to heaven. That's all. And that's why people say, I'll fly away and... It's Huh? I stay where? I, I stay in the air. My Ghana America will walk the Italy. You wanna be present? You can, you can. What else cannot be happening here when you are present? And for you, people free when people bought rad, others got got that you get that when people are doing what? So what we are saying is that Christ came and all are even though the ultimate, ultimate, end end point is for us to go and rest and reign with him eternally, the primary purpose for Christ to come was not to take us to heaven. Please, buckle up. I, I see now, I've touched something. Somebody say, why is he taking us? Because for you to understand why he came, you must understand first what the first man lost. Because Adam did not lose heaven. He lost dominion. Let me say that again. What did he lose? Adam never lost heaven. So Christ's primary objective was not to take us to heaven. That's why uh, uh, well, one of my, my relatives one, one day insulted me. Today I, I realized, uh, I, I thought she insulted me, but today I realized what they said. He, 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 when I got born again in the 80s, he told me, you, you got born again? Many Christians are heavenly good, but utterly useless. <laughs> I said, what did you say? I couldn't, by that time I was in my, my whatever, so I couldn't understand what she was saying. What she was telling me is that uh, many people have focused on, on going that they have not been able to focus on dominating here on earth. So let's go back to the garden. Why did Christ come? Let me hear you. Why did Christ come? To restore. To restore. Take back what was stolen. And we'll see what was stolen. So, Because if, if we don't see what was stolen, you can be able to walk in it and operate in it. So let's look at uh, Genesis 1. Verse 26, all our reading, other than those that are specified, come from the new King James. So let's read. Then, then God, God said, let, let us make, make man, man in our, our own image, image according, according to, to our own likeness. Let, let them, them have, what? have dominion over the fish, of the sea, over, over the, the bird, of, of the air, air and, and over, over the, the cattle, cattle, over all, all the earth. earth. And, and over every, every creeping thing that, that creeps, creeps on, on the, the earth. earth. So, I wanted to look at that statement. The, the NIV version put it that they may rule the earth. They may rule. So, if, so the, to, the word dominion is to do what? To do what? Rule. Let me hear you, please, rule. saints. To have dominion is to do what? Rule. It's not to barely make it. It's not just to survive. It's, it's not just to, to, to just, just, just uh, put your head up. The word dominion is to be in charge. To be what? In charge. To be in charge. So the Bible is saying when God left, when God was creating man, when God put the first man in the garden, the original mandate was dominion. He, there was what? Dominion. He was told, take charge. Rule this earth. Feel it. And the other one, he was told, this word, Mr. Wonderful. Subdue. Do what? Subdue. He was told, feel the earth and subdue it. That's to mean, be able to conquer. Be able to be in charge of every realm. 
subdue, be in charge of businesses, be in charge politically, be in charge in every land. That's where he left us. Somebody say hallelujah. But we were driven, driven, pushed back. And uh, we just became nice people who don't smoke. <laughs> nice people who don't curse. But that was not the original mandate. The original mandate was dominion. So, how do we know that dominion was what Satan stole? I want us to look at the conversation between Jesus and the devil himself right there when Jesus was fasting. Let's look at Luke 4, verse number 6. It's available on the screen. So let's read it. And the devil said to him, All, all this of, authority. All this, this authority. authority. Uh, look at this. All this authority, authority I will give, give to you. you and the glory. glory. For this has been delivered to me. So the question is this. And we want to ask our question. It has been what? Delivered. Head and underline on the word delivered. So we want to ask ourselves this question. Who is it that delivered the authority to the devil? Because God never did, but the Bible, the devil is giving Jesus an account. What is he telling him? All this authority I'll give to who? He's telling Jesus, I know what you are coming for. I know you are coming for what? Oh, he, I, I want to hear you. I know Jesus, you are coming for what? For authority. You don't have to go all the way you want to go. I, I, have a, I have a shorter route to give it back to you. Because it was me who it was delivered to. So he is telling, he is telling I, I, saw, I saw there was like a package here. Did we lose it? It's wonderful. Where did it go? We had a, like a package. Mr. Stephen, you lost my package. The one that is here. Yeah. I want to do a demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> there was a package that was there. So, uh, uh, you just stand here. You, you'll be the best person uh, uh, first uh, the world. So, when God when God uh, uh, Mr. Honor for come. I'm telling you, you, by default, you have become the devil. Just stand here. <laughs> stand right here. By default, you have become the devil. <laughs> so, look at this. When God left Adam at the garden, he said to him, what did he say? I want to hear you. Have what? Dominion. Dominion and rule over the fish of the sea and over everything. So, People only think that Adam and Eve, Eve only ate an apple. No, please. No, sir. No, ma'am. They did not eat just a fruit. When they disobeyed the divine order, what happens was this. There was a, an illegitimate coup of the kingdom of God here on earth. There was a what? An illegitimate coup. And the authority changed hand and it went into the devil's hand that's why now adam was in the garden but minus authority minus mamlaka in hebrew because mamlaka he lacked the authority he lacked the dominion right here yes he is surviving but he didn't have it so now at one point in the god uh, in jesus is fasting he encountered the devil. And the devil is telling Jesus, I know exactly what you have come for. You have come for this authority. Let's read again. For it has been what? Delivered, Delivered to, to me. me. And I, I give to, to whomever I, I wish. He is telling Jesus, all you need to do, just bow. You, you don't have to just bother yourself. Just Chill out, Jesus. There's a shorter way of getting this. I know you are coming for this thing. I can give it to you on a more dignified Western 
way. I, you don't have to just, Jesus, you, there is a more easier way for me giving it to you. But Jesus refused. He did what? He refused. he refused to bow. But I want you to see the point. Where is the authority after the fall? It's in the devil's hand. And that's why. If you look at Genesis 3.15, God is telling the devil, it is true. You have succeeded in overthrowing this government. But the same woman you have deceived, a seed will come out of her womb that will crush your hand and will take back the authority from you. That's why when God was designing a woman, he designed a woman in, with a redemption in mind where he designed the womb of a woman that a baby in the womb doesn't, the blood of the baby doesn't mix with the blood of the mother. Because he knew a savior will come to get this back. And he can have the seed. That's why John would say, would call and, and, and call him, look at the Lamb of God, John 1.29, that takes away the sin of the whole world. He is the one coming again to take this back from the enemy. Look at this. And if you stay there, both of you, it has been delivered to me. It has been done what? Delivered to me. So stay there. Let's go to the book of Philippians 2, verse 8, and verse number 11. It says, and being, being found, found in appearance as a man, he, he humbled, humbled himself, himself and, and became, became what? Obedient. Hold on, hold on right there. Hold on there. So why was obedient necessary? Because the first authority was lost through disobedience. So to regain it back, we needed what? Obedience. For, for, the, for the first man to lose it, the path he took was a path of disobedience. The Bible says, even the, the death, death of, of the, the cross. cross. God therefore, therefore God ha also has highly exalted him, him and given him the name which is above every name. Higher, that at the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, every knee should bow. Of those, those in, heaven, in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth. And, and that every tongue, tongue should, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let's just leave it to that. We'll not explain that. We'll come back to it. But I want you to, to, to go to Matthew 28, 18. This is now Jesus after he comes from the dead. So look at what he's saying. He never made this statement before his election. But look at this statement. This was some of his exit statement. He said, what? And Jesus, Jesus came, came and, and spoke, spoke to them, them saying, saying, All, all authority has, has been, been given, given to, to me, me in heaven and on earth. Who, oh, higher, look at this. I, I, I'm making a, a demonstration. He is saying, now, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come out of John. Now you are, you are the Jesus. Now, at, at death, come here Jesus, you are in the center. He, you take this from him. So, look, look, look around. Now Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he is saying, how many authority? All authority. All of the authority that this man lost to the devil, now it has come back home. He is saying, all authority is what? Has been given to me. Not only here on earth, but where? In heaven. That's why now the book of, of, uh, of uh, Philippians would say that after he died, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name here on earth, down there, and up there. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee 
should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the risen Christ. What are we saying? All authority. So I wanted to, I wanted to understand what did Jesus come to take from the devil? Dominion. Uh, what did he come to take? Authority. See, many people and, and you see, this is, this is what has made many Christians ineffective because they focused on heaven. Where? Where did they focus on? Heaven. And look, at, I'm not introducing a new doctrine saying we don't know. Heaven will be our retirement place. But when, we, when you get hired, Mr. Wonderful, can you be talking about retirement when you, you hire somebody? I know you are a good employer. You hire somebody and all they are discussing every day is their retirement benefit. What do you do? I would fire them. I, I, I don't blame you. I'll fire them too. Because all they are talking about is what? Retirement. There are many Christians talking about retirement, heaven. And they have not done their assignment. Because you retire after work. You retire after what? After finishing the assignment. My friend, if you go there, you'll be moralized by Paul. What are, I'll be asking you, what are you coming here? What are you coming here to do? I can appear and ask you, what, what are you, what is it that you brought you here? Because those people, Paul said, I have fought the race. I, no, he said, I have run the race. I have fought the battle and I have kept the faith. He, he is saying, I was not here and productive. I was here and enforcing everything Christ has for me. So, how many authority do Christ now have? All authority. So, when he took it, what authority was left with Mr. Gasaitani? None. So, where do these Gasaitani now get this authority that people talk about? People, they don't give because he can't get it back from Jesus. People get deceived. People get, people get deceived because Jesus said, all authority is given to me. So now Jesus has it. So we will leave it at Jesus having it and then we will move to the next scripture. So, hiya. Thank you, friends. I'll call you in a time I will be needing you. Let's celebrate them. They did a good job. So, our starting point point of authority begins with us understanding four legal positions. How many? Four. Four legal positions. Number one is Jesus not only died at the cross. You know we say, at the cross, at the cross, cross where I first saw, saw the light and, and the burden of my heart Lord away, it was there by faith. Oh, I received, received my sight, and, and now I am happy all the day. Yes, before the, the burden of your sins rolls away, there was something that happened before. And the Bible is saying, number one position we need to understand is Christ legal position. Where is Christ? When he took the authority, where is he? So let's read Ephesians 1, 20 and 21. What does it say? Which he, he worked, worked in, in Christ, Christ when, when he raised, raised him from, from the, the dead, dead and, and seated him, seated at, him at, at the right, right hand, hand in the heavenly places. So, let's get that first noted. And we put a line on the heavenly places. So, where is Christ seated? In the heavenly places. So, where is he? Heavenly places. So, let's just say one more time. Where is Christ? In the heavenly places. He is seated where? In the heavenly places. Let's get the, ne the next point. So, far above all principalities and power and, and dominion and dominion and every name that, that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come higher Let, let's get a, a revision from there so where is christ seated in the heavenly place 
places. He is seated in the heavenly places. Now let's go to the next statement. Far. Ha, ho, now we underline the word far above. So the Bible says where? Far above all principality and power. All right. Where is he seated? Above all I, I want to please, I, I want to hear you. Where is he seated? Far above all principalities so, and power. So, far above. So, Christ is not seated on the same level with the principalities. He is not seated in the same.